Welcome to eGolf Real World Episode 4. Today, if your radio looks like mine, where all the stations are programmed but there's no logos, then we're going to fix that today and I'm going to show you how. Now what I'm going to tell you to do is to go to https colon forward slash forward slash tune in dot com forward slash radio forward slash music forward slash. That takes you to this web page, which allows you to look up your local radio stations. And then you can play the music from your radio station or talk. But more importantly, it gives you access to one of their logos. Now, if you right click with your mouse, you'll get a choice of save image as. Save it to your desktop, transfer it over to an SD card or a USB stick, and you'll be ready to go. So find all your stations, download all the images, and sometimes you can actually go to the stations themselves and they'll have images. But this is a quick way of just finding a lot of stations. And unfortunately, you have to do each and every one. But it's a good resource. So now in my case, I've put everything on this SD card. And it's in the root directory. It's not inside a folder. So just drop all those PNG files right to the root directory. We're going to open our glove box. And there is our little media center. And we're going to insert our SD card into the SD slot. Once we do that, the radio will recognize it and nothing will happen. What you have to do is hit the setup button on the lower right hand side, then hit station logos. Then select the slot that you want to assign a logo to. Tell it where the media is coming from, which in our case is an SD card. And now you pick the logo that's appropriate for that channel. In this case, I'm just going to arbitrarily pick any logo. But ideally, you'd pick the one that would match. And there you go. We've just put KCRW in slot 8101. Now we're going to go back and pick another logo. This one, I made a mistake. So what I do is hit the little trash can, it confirms deletion, and it's gone from the radio. It's still on your SD card or your USB. And now if we go back, we see that on our radio we have our first logo. And it works. So you continue this process over and over until you've filled them all out or you've exhausted all the logos that you have. We're almost finished. Before you remove the SD card or USB, you have to let the radio know that you're done with it. So hit Menu, Media. Your source is SD in my case. Then go into Setup. And remove, select the device, which is an SD card, and remove safely. And once it goes gray, you know it's OK to pull out your card. You just push in and it pops out and you remove it and then you just close the glove box and you're done. If you found this real world scenario helpful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, please, please subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching and look forward to giving you more real world examples.